So SSR is for server-side rendering. Uh, it's the ability for JavaScript web frameworks to be used on the server side, most often with Node.js. It's, in my opinion, the key feature from these last few years. But why should you consider using SSR? The most common use case is for SEO. But it's not needed on anymore. At least Google and Bing interpret JavaScript pretty well. But OK, it's not perfect ready. But for speed, speed is the really important matter here. No matter how much you will optimize your app, you can be as quick as something already completed. The main focus is your first meaningful paint, the first moment when your user will see something on the screen. But SSR is not just a feature to trigger. It introduces a completely new workflow. First, you've got your first meaningful paint as soon as you receive your HTML file, and that's the key point. But after, you've got your JavaScript, and you become interactive. Then, after, when you navigate inside the website, you have client-side routing. Your tooling can be tricky. You have to write code for two environments. You have to compile that code differently for two different environments. And you even have to auto-reload that code for the both environments. But the most important phase to understand is the loading sequence. When you render seven side, you have to know when your page is ready. Uh, to be able to respond with a page fully loaded. But almost every app needs data from an API, which is asynchronous. You have to identify your requests and wait for them. Frameworks will help you do that, but won't do it for you. All frameworks but Angular. It, it has its own magic to know when there is async operations and when they are over. Then you can send a fully rendered page to the client, and then your framework can restart on top of it. Most frameworks use hydration. They have to be started with the same data as the one used on the server. Most of the time, you will use a state management framework like Redux. And you will write at the bottom of your page this block with your whole state in a big JSON object. And then your framework is capable of hydrating your existing markup and start over. All frameworks, but of course, Angular. Angular doesn't bother with hydration and start over in a hidden div. When, the, when it's ready, it automatically switches the divs it's way simpler to set up, but perhaps a bit less classy. So finally, SSR is great. Use it for speed, mostly. But the, there is a few things to know and understand before starting. There is a lot of tools to help you to use, like Razel or Next and Nux, which are fantastic. Thanks. <laughs>